Ever wondered how an aircraft propeller works to keep airplanes high in the sky? Well, buckle up, because we're about to embark on a journey that will demystify the marvel of aviation known as the aircraft propeller. Also dubbed the air screw, this ingenious device is an aerodynamic powerhouse. Its primary role? To convert rotational energy into a force that propels an aircraft through the sky. This force, aptly referred to as thrust, is almost perpendicular to the plane of rotation. Let's break it down. The rotational energy that powers the propeller comes from various sources. It could be a piston or gas turbine engine, or in some instances an electric motor. But the, the most commonly employed is the internal combustion engine. Designed to transform the reciprocating motion of the pistons into rotational motion at the crankshaft, it then passes this energy on to the propeller. The propeller, much like a diligent worker, takes this rotational motion and converts it into a forward thrusting force. This force powers the aircraft forward, offsetting the drag generated by moving through the atmosphere. It's a delicate balance, but one that the propeller handles with aplomb. Now you might be wondering, how exactly does the propeller generate this thrust? Well, the answer lies in the rotation of the propeller blades. As they spin, these blades experience an angle of attack similar to the wings of an aircraft. This angle generates a lift force perpendicular to the blade cord line. This force then splits into two components, the horizontal component, known as propeller thrust, and the vertical component, which works against the propeller's direction of rotation. But there's more to these blades than meets the eye. They're twisted in such a way that the blade tips have a lower angle than the roots. This smart design ensures a consistent angle of attack from root to tip, enabling all parts of the propeller to generate an equal thrust force. With different types of propellers, such as fixed pitch, variable pitch and constant speed, the choice depends on the aircraft's requirements and the engine-propeller combination. Now that you know the basics, let's dive into the history of these fascinating devices. The journey of aircraft propellers is a rich tapestry of innovation and discovery. Let's take a trip back in time to explore its intriguing origins. Our story begins in ancient China, where the concept of vertical flight was first conceived. This was a time when the idea of flying was still considered a fantastical dream, yet the seeds of propeller technology were already being sown. Fast forward to the 15th century when the legendary Leonardo da Vinci made significant advancements in the field. Known for his boundless curiosity and inventive genius, da Vinci's explorations into flight mechanics laid the groundwork for future developments in propeller technology. As we move into the 19th century, we meet two early pioneers who helped shape the future of propellers, George Cayley and Alphonse Penot. Cayley, often referred to as the father of aviation, made substantial contributions to the understanding of aerodynamics, a crucial component in propeller design. Penot, on the other hand, was a French aeronautical pioneer known for his work on the theory of flight. His designs of helicopter-like aircraft and rubber-powered models helped to further the understanding of propeller-driven flight. But it was at the turn of the 20th century when the real game-changers stepped onto the scene. The Wright brothers, Orville and Wilbur, took the world by storm with their invention of the aeroplane. Their groundbreaking design of twisted airfoil-shaped propellers was a key factor in their success. This ingenious design increased efficiency and was a significant leap forward in the evolution of propeller technology. So, while the journey of aircraft propellers has been marked by numerous advancements and innovations, it was the Wright brothers who truly revolutionized the game with their twisted airfoil-shaped propellers. A testament to human ingenuity and the relentless pursuit of progress, the evolution of propellers is a fascinating tale of triumph over the forces of nature. The Wright brothers were not just pioneers in flight, but also in propeller technology. This iconic duo, Orville and Wilbur Wright, is credited with the first controlled, sustained flight of a powered, heavier-than-air aircraft. But their contributions go far beyond that single milestone. They were instrumental in the development of the twisted airfoil shape for propellers, a design that significantly increased efficiency. You see, the Wright brothers understood that a propeller is nothing more than a wing moving in a circular path, creating lift in a forward direction, which we call thrust. They realized that a propeller's efficiency could be greatly improved by twisting the blades. This twist meant that each section of the propeller blade could be set at the correct angle relative to the oncoming air. 
allowing for a consistent angle of attack from the hub to the tip. This innovation was a game changer as it allowed all parts of the propeller to generate a thrust force of the same magnitude, optimizing the aircraft's performance. By the 1920s, the aerodynamics of propellers were well understood, largely thanks to the Wright brothers' pioneering work. But the quest for improvement didn't stop there. Engineers and scientists continued to research and develop new ways to enhance propeller performance. They experimented with materials, from wood to metal and composite materials, and even played around with blade pitch and helix angle, all in an effort to create the most efficient propellers. The Wright brothers laid a solid foundation for propeller technology. Their work set the stage for the countless innovations and advancements that have shaped aviation as we know it today. But the story doesn't end here. The mechanics of propellers is a fascinating subject filled with complex physics and innovative design. But how exactly does a propeller work? Let's find out. Aircraft propellers may look simple, but their mechanics are anything but. To understand how a propeller functions, think of it as a spinning wing or airfoil. As it spins, it creates a momentum transfer from the propeller to the air. This momentum transfer is what generates thrust, the force that propels an aircraft forward. Now, like the wings of an aircraft, the blades of a propeller also experience an angle of attack. This is the angle between the oncoming air or relative wind and a reference line on the airfoil. The angle of attack generates a lift force, which is perpendicular to the blade cord line. This lift force then splits into two components, vertical and horizontal. The horizontal component works in the direction of flight and is known as propeller thrust. This is the force that pushes the plane forward. The vertical component, on the other hand, acts against the propeller direction of rotation. Here's where things get interesting. The propeller blades are not uniform. They are twisted. The blade tips have a lower blade angle than the roots. This twist is not a design flaw. It's quite the opposite. The twist ensures that a similar angle of attack is maintained from the root of the blade to the tip. This allows all parts of the propeller to generate a thrust force of the same magnitude, leading to a more efficient propeller. The mechanics of propellers are intricate, combining principles of aerodynamics, physics and engineering. Each component, each twist and turn, plays a crucial role in how the propeller functions, how it transforms rotational energy into thrust, and ultimately how it allows an aircraft to take flight. With such complexity, it's no surprise that there are different types of propellers. Just like there are different types of aircraft, there are different types of propellers too. Propellers aren't a one-size-fits-all solution. They are tailored to the specific needs of the aircraft and the engine-propeller combination. Let's break it down. First off, we have fixed pitch propellers. These are the simplest type of propellers where the blade angle is set and cannot be changed. They are best suited for light aircraft and are the most cost-effective option. Next, we have variable pitch propellers. These propellers allow the blade pitch to be adjusted, which can be handy during different flight conditions. This flexibility can lead to better performance and fuel efficiency. Lastly, we have constant speed propellers. These are the cream of the crop, automatically adjusting the blade pitch to maintain a constant RPM, regardless of the flight condition. This leads to optimal performance across a wide range of conditions. So whether you're flying a light aircraft or a heavy duty transport plane, there's a propeller specifically designed to meet your needs. And that, my friends, is the fascinating world of aircraft propellers. From ancient China to today's modern aircraft, propellers have come a long way. We've traced the evolution of propellers, from the early advancements made by Leonardo da Vinci right through to the pioneering work of the Wright brothers. We've delved into the complex mechanics of how propellers convert rotational energy into propulsive force and how the clever design of twisted blades ensures consistent thrust from root to tip. We've also explored the different types of propellers, each tailored to suit the specific needs of an aircraft. This fascinating world of propellers has shown us how simple principles of aerodynamics can be harnessed to achieve the wonder of flight. It's a testament to human ingenuity and a reminder that even the seemingly mundane can hide complex and interesting stories. Thanks for joining us on this journey. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video. Press the bell icon for the latest updates. Until next time, keep your curiosity alive.